Shanghai is China's largest city with a population of over 25 million. As a major financial center, it is also the busiest container port in the world. The two Chinese characters in the city's name literally mean upon the sea. The origin of the name can be traced back to the Tang Dynasty. Looking across Huangpu River from the barn of the magnificent skyscrapers of the Pudong district, it is hard to imagine that Shanghai was once a walled city for defense against Japanese pirates during the Ming Dynasty. Long established as a major administrative, shipping and trading town, Shanghai grew into further importance in the 19th century due to the European recognition of its favorable location and economic potential. The Muslims' presence here can be traced all the way back to the times of the Yuan dynasty when Islam first came to the Songjiang prefecture where the first mosque was built there. Islam suffered a long period of regression after the end of the Yuan dynasty but was revived again during the Qing dynasty. Let's see how far the Muslim community has come until today at the most metropolitan city of the modern China. Shanghai is a popular tourist destination renowned for its historical landmarks such as the Bund, City God Temple and Yui Garden as well as the extensive Lu Chia Chui skyline that features the iconic Oriental Pearl Radio and TV Tower at 468 meters high. It was the tallest structure in China from 1994 until 2007 when it was surpassed by the Shanghai World Financial Center. During the Song Dynasty, Shanghai was upgraded from its humble status of a fishing village to a market town in 1074 and in 1172, a second seawall was built on an earlier dike to stabilize the coastline. However, from the Yuan Dynasty in 1292 until its official city status in 1927, Shanghai was designated merely as a county seat administrated by the Songjiang Prefecture. Many important events helped promote Shanghai's development during the Ming Dynasty through the Qing Dynasty. Besides the construction of the city wall to ward off pirates, Shanghai received an important psychological boost from the erection of a city god temple in 1602 that reflected the town's economic importance. The abolishing of prohibition on ocean-going vessels by the Qing Emperor Kangxi and the shifting of the custom office from Songjiang City to Shanghai have paved the way for Shanghai to become the major trade port for the entire Lower Yangtze River region despite its lower political status. Shanghai was one of five cities that were open to foreign trade following the British victory over China in the First Opium War. The subsequent 1842 Treaty of Nanking and 1844 Treaty of Wumpao allowed the establishment of the Shanghai International Settlement and the French Concession. Shanghai then flourished as a center of commerce between East and West and became the undisputed financial hub of the Asia-Pacific in 1930s. However, after the Communist Party's takeover of the mainland in 1949, trade was reoriented to focus on socialist countries and the city's global influence declined. In the 1990s, the economic reforms introduced by Teng Xiaoping resulted in an intense redevelopment of the city, aiding the return of finance and foreign investment to the city. Located besides the city god temple in the northeast of the old city of Shanghai, the touristic Yuyuan market is well trodden by hordes of visitors looking for the best bargains among the old-style Chinese architecture. The streets are always packed with shoppers and the air filled with excitement and infectious shopping spree spur on further by the great variety of items on display. 
It is also unique that in the midst of the hustle and bustle of fervent shopping, there is a zigzag bridge that connects the visitors to the city god temple over the reflective calm water. The bridge is designed to slow down the endless traffic flow of people to let them pause for a moment to enjoy and appreciate the beautiful sceneries around them. In the olden days, the market was an old street that gathered all 360 trades of China. At present, many of these vanishing trades are being recreated here, one of which is the Si Yang Ching of Pipshou. Imported from the West in the late 19th century, it was the genesis model of the movies in the olden days for both young and old to enjoy the wonderful world of make-believe. At the peripheral of the Shanghai Old Streets, there are a few where were Muslims selling Hertian Jade, a much-prized item from Xinjiang. They usually do their business freely on the streets, trading their stocks from the back of their vehicles. Anyway, these wayward Muslims are retracing the path of their ancestors when during the early Yuan dynasty, there were a great influx of Persians and Arabs to Songjiang Prefecture for commerce, and some others were brought in by the rulers to serve in the military as well as the royal courts. These early Muslim migrants brought along Islam with them, that saw a period of prosperity which went into decline near the end of the Yuan dynasty. It wasn't until later Qing dynasty that it enjoyed a revival again via the spread of Islam from Nanjing. As Shanghai started establishing itself as the commercial center through the years, Islam also enjoyed a never-before-seen renaissance here. At present, there are eight important mosques remaining in Shanghai, one of which is situated a few minutes' walk from the prosperous commercial area of Shanghai Old Streets. At Xiao Taoyuan Street in southern Shanghai, the mosque of the same name is also located. Xiao Taoyuan Mosque, also called the Xincheng Mosque, is the biggest mosque in Shanghai and one of the famous mosques in the city. It was established in 1917 and rebuilt in 1925. Now, it is also the location of the Shanghai Islamic Association. Xiao Tao Yuan means Little Pitch Garden in Chinese. The mosque got the name because there was once a small private peach garden there. The mosque features Islamic architectural style of West Asia. Upon entrance to the main gate, we see a rectangular courtyard. On the west side of the courtyard stands the two-story tall Great Prayer Hall of 500 square meters which can hold up to 200 worshippers. In its center is a vault dome with a moon pavilion on the rooftop. A three-story hall building stands on the eastern side of the courtyard. The first floor is a sermon room and there is a library and a reading room on the second and the third floor respectively. There are the Imam's room, reception rooms, and bathrooms on the southern side of the courtyard. According to Imam Hang, the present local Muslim population in Shanghai is 80,000 and more than 200,000 when taken into account the foreigners working in Shanghai. Currently, there are eight mosques in Shanghai. This mosque was founded in 1917 by Haji Jing Yuan, a Hui Muslim merchant originated from Nanjing. He has donated his own private house to be converted into a mosque, and after which a few renovations have been done to extend the facilities. Several schools have also been established in its early days from 1920 to 1940, such as the Islam Normal School, the primary school for Muslims, Ming Chen Primary School and Chen Pei Primary School. At one time, an orphanage was run within the mosque to cater to those unfortunate and needy during the tumultuous period of the 20th century. These people for the whole Shanghai Islam have a great deal. Among these people, he has been a member of the Shanghai Islam. But later, the Shanghai Islam has been established in 1952. Most 
他发家之后就捐了一所学校，而且这位这位那个老人是中国的学者，他在埃及留学的时候，所有的费用是这位老人资助的。As the confluence of meeting point between East and West, the mosque also has a unique function to receive and serve other Muslims who gathered in Shanghai from Shanxi, Gansu, Ningxia, Qinghai, Xinjiang. And other places for planning to make pilgrimages to Mecca. Thus, it has become the transfer center for Muslims who wanted to go to Mecca by sea. The founders and committee members at that time have also helped to establish a steady marine route with foreign operators to Mecca for the pilgrimages. In recent years, organizations such as the Management Committee of Mosques in Shanghai. Shanghai Islam Association and so on are all located in the mosque. The madrasa classes here have also raised many scholars. Many luminaries have been sent to as far as Egypt to further the religious education. 七零四就是改革开放之后被定为涉外单位，现在各个七零四都可以接待外宾，但是主要的领导人还到我们七零四。Just like the metropolitan city of Shanghai. Over the years, Xiao Tao Yuan Mosque also acts as the gateway for local communities to connect with the rest of the world abroad. This is evident from some of the exhibits on display at the Reading Room. They are mostly gifts from foreign ambassadors such as Saudi Arabia, Russia, Iran, and Turkey. The second prayer hall of the main building is often used for Quranic classes and reception for VIP guests. There are also many collections of cultural artifacts here. One of which is a rare, huge incense holder, which is made of Qing Tai Lan. In the olden days, Muslims were encouraged to use perfumes to get rid of body odor as an act of courtesy. However, in the eyes of most Hui Chinese, it was rather feminine for men to spray perfume, and thus an alternative device was introduced to cleanse the air. Next, we will visit the adjoining ladies' mosque, which is the only one of its kind in Shanghai.